thing. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good idea that this group could be as good as it's been this year? I mean, there's a lot of guys, new, new faces in new places, I guess, but did you kind of have an early on idea that it was a group that would gel pretty quickly? Uh, I, I mean, I, I thought that we, you know, that we were going to gel pretty quickly. It's, it's just a thing where, you know, through summer workouts and, and through camp, you know, we all, we, it was kind of a different feel. You know, we uh, we were having having a little bit more fun, I guess I could say, and and I could just see how everybody was starting to work with each other a little bit better, and how we all came in with a working man's attitude, and we all wanted to get better, and it's just something that that Coach Caldwell really instilled in us, and you know, he, he's an old country man, and you know, so we go out, you know, we always he says every day, let's go out have a good country practice, you know, just <laughs> just to go get better, and and uh, so. I mean, we all knew what we could do. We just knew that we had to go out performing. You know, obviously we've done that. Devo said Coach Caldwell has been happier than he's ever seen him this year. Are you seeing him that happy? Or is he yeah. still pretty tough on you? No, he. I mean, he's tough on us, but I agree 100%. Yeah. He is. He's. I think he's a lot happier, and you know, I think he's got. He's starting to really get guys to really understand what he wants. You know, we all really know that. You know, this is how he wants it. This is how we're going to do it. You know, and there and there's. We just everyone in the room has has a working man's attitude. Everybody comes every day to work, and that's another thing that he loves. And it's you know it's a funny thing because you've got a guy like Mitch who thrown the fire. You know your story is obviously a unique one. Um, guys like Eric that have kind of been here a while and been through a lot of it, They're really starting to get into their stage now. You had guys injured, guys yep. stepping in. Yep. It's it's not like it's you can point to one guy and say this is the <laughs> difference on that line. But that's really kind of what it's all about. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean you know we as an offensive line you got to work with five. You know. It, you can't. I mean, a lot of guys. You know, you have standout players on every team, but but that that front five, that that five that's out there, you really all have to play together. And so, once again, you know, I think we've got five guys out there that, that just you know we all play for. I mean, and really the guys that are that come in, you know, we all we all know how to play with each other. You know, we all know how what what different guys do better at, what different guys do worse at. You know, and so. We all have a feel for each other in what our technique needs to be for them, and it's just something that's been completely different from what I've felt around here in the past, and it's something that, you know, obviously is showing in our play. I could be wrong, but I think I saw a tattoo that maybe represents the offensive line yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah I got that uh, a few months ago, and that's just, you know, we call ourselves a union, obviously, and, and I didn't have any tattoos. Obviously, I've got a bunch of tattoos, <laughs> but I didn't have anything that, that had any Clemson on it, so I was like, I obviously have to get something that's got a tiger paw or something. So, uh, so me and Eric actually sat down and made our own little, uh, our own little patch uh, for the offensive line. So, and you know, you don't have Coach Sweeney somewhere, do you? I know, no, no, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have Coach Sweeney anywhere. So, I mean, maybe you know, I'll get one in the future. No. Are you guys going to talk the younger, the younger pups into a tattoo like I've that? Tried to. I've tried to already. You know, maybe the new guys coming in, maybe I can talk them into it. But I think maybe, maybe I've got some of our guys on board now, but. Most of them are reluctant. I, th I don't think they're man enough to get tattoos yet. Coach was saying that uh, y'all haven't allowed a sack that was on you in five games, but I think statistically you haven't allowed any sacks in the last three games. Is that kind of like a, a streak that you y'all think about going into a game? Kinda. I mean, you know, we got to take it game by game, but we uh, that's something that we always we try and take pride in. As we we don't want to get a quarterback hit. You know, no one does. And um, as an offensive line, obviously that's a little bit more on us. You know, it can be on the running backs and it can be on them sometimes. But it, a lot of the hits on quarterback comes from the offensive line and you know we always go into every game saying we don't want him to get hit and you know it's sometimes it can be unrealistic but you know I mean we we really take good pride in that and we work really hard in practice to to prevent him from getting hit so that it's just really all of our work and all of our you know commitment really coming through and showing with the way that you guys have played last nine weeks or something mm -hmm. um just the break and, and not being able to have that that flow going to mess the offense up at all do you think uh i don't think so you know i mean uh, we've been working you know the offensive line went out and actually ran yesterday as a as a unit we out, went out and ran by the stadium so i don't think it'll mess anything up you know if anything we've got good enough leadership on this team i feel like to keep guys dialed in you know keep guys preparing like they need to so i don't think it'll mess too much up what, what's an area you guys need to work on I mean, you've been so good the last several weeks where, where do you feel like there's a need to be an emphasis well i think uh really throughout the season and as, especially in the offensive line, you kind of lose your technique a little bit. So uh, I know Coach Caldwell really likes to go back to the basics, and uh, that's what Coach Winnie was saying as well. You know, we really want to go back to the basis, basics just, you know, even down on the stance. You know, everything is 
determined by your stance, you know. And so that's one thing that I think we're really going to work hard on, um, you know, just footwork, basic hand placement, just stuff like that, because, you know, the little things make up a big thing. Have you thought about the fact that Wayne is 10 yards from getting the all-time rushing record? And what does that mean to you guys? I did not know that, so that's pretty awesome. But, so I mean, that just makes us want to – Make him want to, you know, break through that wall pretty, pretty hard. So, but I mean, now you say that, I mean, it's it's pretty special, and that's something that, you know, it, it, a lot of it goes on him. Don't, you know, don't get me wrong. He is a really, really good running back, and you know, give him all the credit. But you know, it as an offensive line, it kind of makes us grin a little bit too, because, you know, we know that we've been a little bit of that, you know, a little part of that. Did you see that Eric calls you a band of brothers? Yep. Yeah, I did, and and I think he, I think he's right. You know, we, uh, like I said, we all work well together, and we all, we all want to do good for the man beside us. You know, it's, I mean, of course everyone wants to look good and everyone wants to go to the next level, but I really think we have a very selfless team this year, especially on the offensive line. I think that we all know what we have to do in order to get to the next level and as, as a team, you know, and go like we're in the playoffs now and, you know, maybe go to the national championship. I think we all know what we need to do to do that, so we uh, so we all work hard and together to do that. Have you ever been around a group that woofs as much as this one does? I see, I look, I look down and – Somebody's talking all the time out on the field. Uh, not really. I mean, we we always, you know, we I don't know. We we just kind of we kind of try and do our own thing and and just do what we do. So, you know, I mean, we we don't we don't try and talk too much. So. Is there a point of pride really this year? 